In the top stories, hundreds flock to Queen's Park for the traditional Christmas concert. An Anglican priest calls for more protection for children. And Phil Simmons praises Jason Holder's captaincy. Welcome to the Christmas Day edition of Nation News on Friday, December 25th, 2015. I'm Natasha Beckles. Strolling through Queen's Park on Christmas morning is one tradition which is showing no signs of dying out. Hundreds of Barbadians once again flock to the city park for the Royal Barbados Police Force Band's Christmas morning concert. The skies were a bit overcast, but this did not stop residents from dressing up in their finery and enjoying the annual tradition. Before 7 a.m., the regulars were securing their favorite spots, and as time went on, the crowd grew as many gathered to enjoy the food and festivities. It was not a very Merry Christmas for hundreds of residents of St. Joseph, whose taps were dry. Many had been without water for days or weeks, and they had to gather at a standpipe or community tank on Christmas Day for a trickle of the liquid. Some families even sent their children to relatives in other parishes so they could enjoy the festivities. Prime Minister Frondel Stewart has urged Barbadians to stop focusing on acquiring material things. He made the plea in his Christmas message in which he urged residents to consider carefully the star which they are following. The star the wise men followed led them to the Prince of Peace. Where is your star leading you? The star you follow daily should lead you ultimately to a place that brings you a sense of personal fulfillment. Only then can you partake of that peace on earth which the birth of Christ was intended to herald. I should like to suggest to you that following a star which sets you on a path of acquiring more, more, more will not bring you that sense of personal fulfillment which we all seek. There must be room in your vocabulary for the word enough. Meanwhile, opposition leader Mia Motley said Christmas is a time of kindness and giving and she encouraged Barbadians to think of others, especially the less fortunate. Reverend John Rogers has appealed to Barbadians to take greater care of the island's children. He made the call on Thursday night before a large congregation which gathered for a midnight mass at St. George Parish Church. Using the biblical story of Herod, he said children should not be sacrificed for the gains of adults. And there are far too many in our society today who are adopting the Herod attitude where our children are concerned. It is all about what I want. And no one seems to care for this child that is so vulnerable. But this child that can teach us so much about the power and the presence of God in our lives. I want to challenge us all during this Christmas season, as we celebrate, as we make merry, let us value the gift of family and children. From as early as 5 a.m. on Christmas morning, some visiting families were on the beach behind Sandy Lane Hotel with spades, buckets, and shovels in hand. But it was more than an ordinary trip to the beach. Instead, they were taking part in the hotel's annual sandcastle competition. When it was all over, the Moses family of England emerged the winners with their large turtle, which took an hour and a half to construct. Sandy Lane's public relations manager, Richard Daniel, said some guests return year after year in an effort to get bragging rights. On Accra Beach, a number of Canadian and British visitors were lounging in the sun, while members of the Chinese Association of Barbados staged a barbecue on Pebbles Beach. In sport, West Indies head coach Phil Simmons has praised Captain Jason Holder for the way he is handling the pressure during the ongoing three-test tour against Australia. West Indies have performed dismally so far, resulting in fierce criticism from Australian media and television pundits. However, Simmons said the 24-year-old Barbadian has faced up to the challenges well and is displaying all the attributes of a good leader. The regional side will have another chance to impress in the second test tonight in Melbourne. First ball is at 7.30 Barbados time. And finally, a story that demonstrates the Christmas spirit. 
two weeks after an Ohio man went to repossess a car and ended up offering to help cover a woman's car payments, his colleague showed up with another surprise, stacks of Christmas gifts for the woman's 10-year-old daughter. The man wept at the story of Diana Parks, a single mother diagnosed with a pituitary tumor which prevented her from working and forced her to drop out of university. He offered to give up half his pay until her delinquent car payments were up to date, but the company decided to cover those costs. Then the staff works on her daughter's holiday wish list. Ms. Park says she was overwhelmed with joy and her optimism has been restored. And that's Nation News for Christmas Day. For more news, log on to nationnews.com as well as YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Remember to pick up your papers over the weekend or subscribe to our e-paper and continue to enjoy the rest of your holiday.